In this session, we're going to take a look at the fundamentals of working with the Blend tool in CorelDRAW, a very powerful tool that we can use for a number of different things, and we'll just go over the fundamentals in this particular session. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and zoom in, and I'm going to come over here to my star tool, and I'm going to create a star in CorelDRAW. And I'm going to fill that with, let's say, a blue. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this star as you can see here and then I'm going to come over to my blend tool I'm going to click on the star here on the left hold down start dragging and release on the star over here and you can see what happened there is that draw blended or multiplied the objects into each other and you'll also see that the properties bar has changed up here the next thing I'll do is I'll come over here and change my blue to let's say a red now you can see that this red now is blending from blue to red. If I change this one on the end to a yellow, I'll go from yellow to red. Whenever I have objects on a blend, I can select the starting, which would be here, and ending objects and move them and change them. And they will transform automatically with the blend. This is an interactive tool. If I change it in size, it'll blend down in size. If I click it again and rotate it, it will rotate. Now we're going to hit Control Z and go back and I'm just going to go ahead and fill this with a white and I'll fill this with a white also for now. Up here in my properties bar I can change the number of objects in my blend but I need to click on, right now I'm on the star because I've got a star object selected. I need to click on the blend itself and that will change. And I can change the number of objects in the blend and we'll change this to 5 and hit enter and you can see the change there. You can also take a blend and apply it to a path in Draw. I'm going to come over here to my Ellipse tool, create a simple ellipse, and I'm going to create a star flow of objects or blend along my ellipse. Come here and click on my star objects. Come up here to the properties bar, click here, select new path, come down, click on the ellipse, and you can see that that was applied. Then I have some different properties that I can apply to these. Come down here and select Blend Along Path. And I can also come down here and select Rotate All Objects. Now we get an issue here where the last object or the ending object really hasn't rotated, but I can adjust that manually in Draw and you'll see now all of my star stars rotate equally along my path. Now if I want to change the size of the stars, I could lasso the starting and ending objects and I could resize them and that will change the size of them. I could go back and click on my blend, change this to say 7 and hit enter and that will move that. I can also go to my objects, click again, change my center point and that will change how my blend is applied to my path based on the center point. Once again, this is the starting object, this is the ending object. You can't make these edits here with the objects on the blend. And You can see here is your ending object and you can move that also when you select your blend and adjust that. There's also a slider here that you can adjust that will make some adjustments in the speed at which your blend occurs. We're going to hit Control Z and go back here. Once I want to take this blend apart, I can simply come right down here, right click on the blend part. I don't want to click on my starting or my ending object. They're independent. These are my blend objects here. I can right click and select break apart and that will break my blend apart. I can delete the circle and now I've got my blend here. I can ungroup all select all of my stars here, go ahead and group, and then I can start to do something like create an extrude or work with something like that. So that's just a basic introduction to the blend tool. You can do some experimenting with that and its properties up here in the properties bar and also with the interactive features of the tool.